Hello, my name is Christina, and since it's COVID time, I thought it would be interesting to talk about our body immune system. So our body immune system has three lines of defense. The first line is about physical and chemical barriers. For example, our skin can prevent pathogens from getting in. Um, our sweat creates a salty environment that discourages pathogens to grow. Uh, and also we have our mucous membrane in our nasal passages and in our lung uh, to trap particle dust uh, and pathogens and our gastric juices also create an acid environment that can kill bacteria and uh, pathogens and when it comes to our second line of defense uh, it's called non-specific defense so when our skin is broken through and pathogens is getting into our body, our body creates a series of responses to prevent uh, pathogens from further invading ourselves. So for example, when you have a wound on your skin, uh, blood platelets will come in and to help with blood clot clotting uh, to prevent further blood loss. Our mass self in our blood will come in and create factors to encourage vessel dilation, to gather more cells to come in and help with the recovery. Our neutrophil will also come in and secret factors that can kill pathogens. And our neutrophils together with our phagocyte uh, would execute uh, phagocytosis to uh, eat up our pathogens. Lastly, macrophag can produce cytokine to help with tissue repair. Our third line of immune defense is specific immune defense. Uh, it consists of humoral response and cell-mediated response. So for humoral response, um, our B cells will be activated by antigen and B cells can produce plasma cells and plasma cells can produce antibody to kill the pathogens. Our B cells can also produce memory B cells for future use. Secondly, for our cell-mediated response, our infected cell can display antigen to our T cell, and our T cell will then activate it to produce mature cytotoxic T cell and also um, memory T cells. Our macrophage can also present antigens to our helper T cells. Helper T cells can produce memory helper T cells and our mature helper T cell can also communicate with our B cells to present antigens.